Hello everyone and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe and today we're going to be talking about those Brittany Mahomes photos that she shared earlier this week. Travis Kelsey attending what may be his last Eras Tour show for a very long time. Taylor's surprise songs in Germany that were directly pointed to one Mr. Travis Kelsey and some other little pieces of news here and there. But let's get started with... The photos that kind of broke the internet earlier this week, I did a, um, a short about it that I shared earlier this week, but Brittany Mahomes shared a photo dump of her time in London and Amsterdam, and she, of course, well, I shouldn't say of course, because she doesn't always share her moments and times with Taylor, but she did share two photos from the photo dump. Uh, that were very clearly, well, A, they were with Taylor Swift, and B, were very clearly taken with Taylor Swift's camera. Because if you know anything about Taylor Swift and her photos, they all have this filter on them. And it's just this, I, I'm not exactly sure what her camera is, but it's, whatever the filter is, it is a part of the camera. Um, and so any photo that she shares that is taken from her, not like a Getty image photo from a concert, but if it's photos that she herself is sharing, they all have this filter on them. And she clearly is someone who takes a bunch of photos and then passes them along to her friends and family and whatever. And so whenever um, friends and people share those photos, we can all instantly tell, oh, this is from, this photo is from Taylor Swift's camera because it has this filter on it. So anyway... Brittany shared two photos of herself with Taylor, one being uh, a photo of her and Taylor with Travis and Patrick, a very cute couples photo. And then another photo was very sweet of just Taylor and Brittany hugging, embracing Taylor, kissing Brittany's head. Um, very sweet, very cute. Unclear as to where the photos were taken, if they were taken in Amsterdam, back in London. We know that they were in both, both places. Um, but love that they got to spend some quality time together during their trip. Um, I'm sure it was chaotic for all of them and, you know, because of the traveling and Taylor obviously performing and whatnot. But it's nice that they got some time together. And it just made me really miss. I, I think I've said this before on here, but it's made me really miss the um Taylor and Britney content we got all last year during football season. I just, I've been a Chiefs fan my whole life. I obviously knew about and, and was a fan of Patrick Mahomes prior to Taylor Swift joining Chiefs Kingdom. And I think Britney has always had like an interesting reputation within the Chiefs community and just like the football community at large. And I really feel like her friendship with Taylor has, I think, maybe made people see her in a different way or I, I, I don't know. I just... I kind of feel like people, because Taylor seems to love Britney so much, I think other people have kind of come around to Britney, um, which I think, I mean, I, I've always felt like the hate and stuff that has been thrown her way over the years has been largely unwarranted. There are certain things that I think, you know, she deserves pushback about, but um, it's just fun to see them having fun and the fact that Travis and Patrick are obviously very, very close friends. And so the fact that now Patrick's wife and Travis's girlfriend, that, that they're so close, I think is just very, very sweet and very fun. And I hope they get to spend more time together. Um, speaking of time together, Travis being the being just the excellent boyfriend that he is. He was in um, Lake Tahoe over the weekend at a golf tournament then made the trek across the pond once again to spend a little bit more quality time with Taylor before he then has to get back to Kansas City, I think by tomorrow, for the start of the Chiefs training camp, which will run through like mid-August. So Travis is going to be gone, spending all of his time in St. Joe, Missouri, where the Chiefs have their training camp, sleeping, living in dorms. Literally, they, they will be staying in dorm rooms up at a college and he will not be able to do anything else but think and, you know, breathe football for the, for the next handful of weeks. But as I said, he made the trip to Germany to see Taylor Swift show one more time. Unclear as to whether or not he'll get to see her perform again, like in the fall. I don't know. I don't know after training camp if they will have some time off because maybe there's a chance he could go to London to see her last few shows at Wembley. Potentially, I don't know. Again, I'm not like super 
well versed in how much time they all have off, but he made the trip um, and was by himself, was sitting in a suite. It was kind of low key. He wasn't as like boisterous and um, like partying it up like he maybe has been in the past. Uh, it, it was kind of clear he was soaking it all in, but Taylor performed as she always does incredible mashups. And these were very pointed to Travis Kelsey. Once again, the first one she did was a mashup of Superman or sorry, superstar, not Superman, even though she has a song called Superman superstar, which is a deep cut, deep cut, um, bonus track song mixed with invisible string. Now she, if you have, you know, were around since the beginning of the era store, she had invisible string as a part of the main set list initially. And then just a few shows into the concert, she cuts it and takes it out of the show and replaced it with the one and the removal of invisible string kind of coincided with her breakup with Joe Alwyn. I think a lot of people felt like she probably doesn't want to sing this song that is that she wrote for Joe night in night out when they've broken up. And so the fact that she's brought it back and she mashed it up with superstar, it's just very Travis Kelsey coded. I think now we need to like rewrite, like even though invisible string was originally about, Joe Alwyn, it is now about Travis Kelsey. You know, the invisible, because the reality is Joe Alwyn was a part of that invisible string that led her to Travis Kelsey. Um, so obsessed, obsessed with that matchup. I love, In- Invisible String is one of my favorite Taylor Swift songs of all time. It's, I think, my favorite off of, I mean, it definitely is my favorite off of Folklore. I love that song so much. So excellent, excellent choice. And then she mashed up False God and Slut. Iconic, iconic, just incredible, incredible choices. I'm, I'm loving the mashups. I think it's so fun. Um, and both of those are just so excellent. And then we saw Travis and, and Taylor post show, but they didn't make it a big whole thing. You know how typically when they leave the show, Travis is like egging on the crowd to cheer louder for Taylor or like pumping her up or whatever. They just very kind of quickly left they were very, it's, it seemed like they were very much like, okay, we don't have much time together. So like, we got to get out of here. Um, and I kind of have to imagine that Travis is heading back to Kansas city now. Um, because like I said, he's got to be back for training camp. They're going to be apart for a good chunk of time, probably close to a month. Um, if I had to guess, and obviously Taylor's, you know, locked in with touring and Travis has his football stuff. So it's going to be a long time apart for the two of them, but I think this summer they've gotten to spend so much time together. They've gotten to do so many great things together. And in like a month's time or less than a month or maybe right in a month, um, Taylor will be done with her European leg of the tour and then she'll get herself a nice, you know, six week break, give or take, before she has to then start up the North American dates again. But then they'll get to spend a lot of time together. And I would have to imagine that Taylor will be... um, probably spending a lot of time in Kansas City during that during that time. So they'll get through it. We'll all be great. It's crazy that we're almost to football season. Like, I'm so excited. I hope you guys are too. It's going to be so much fun. I cannot wait. Um, and yeah, it's crazy also that it's been like a year. Like this time last year was when the Travis Taylor rumors were starting up. And so the fact that it's been a year is absolutely crazy insane. Um, as always, let me know in the comments, your guys' thoughts about all of this. Please subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.